The Very Hungry Zombie, a parody by Michael Tiedelbaum, illustrated by John Apple. Warning, not for human children. Aunt Kalina notes, parents, make your own decisions at your own discretion. Zombie Warning The publisher disclaims any responsibility for illness, sickness, death, permanent incapacitation, or reanimation caused from eating human flesh. The Very Hungry Zombie, a parody by Michael Tiedelbaum, illustrated by John Apple. A blood-red moon shone down on a corpse that lay rotting beneath the ground. At the crack of dawn, on a Sunday morning, out of a grave crawled a horrifically hungry zombie. He started to hunt for fresh, juicy humans to snack on. On Monday, he devoured one astronaut but he found himself in a gaseous atmosphere. On Tuesday, he chewed through two party clowns, but they tasted kind of funny. On Wednesday, he gnawed on three football players, but he found them tough and gritty. On Thursday, he gobbled up four professional wrestlers but he couldn't get a choke hold on his hunger. On Friday, he chomped on five rock stars, but he got a terrible case of the munchies. On Saturday, he nibbled on one ear, one eyeball, one stomach, one hand, one tongue, one nose, one heart, one foot, one liver, and one pair of lips. That night, he passed out face down on a mound of corpses. When Sunday came around again, the zombie ate a humongous, slimy pile of gooey, chewy brains. Finally, he felt full. He climbed back into his grave and took a long nap. Then he thrust his hand up through the soil, clawed his way out, and that's when the real nightmare began. The End Warning Double-blind studies have shown that eating vein-ripened human flesh can cause a severe case of zombieitis.